The Atlanta Falcons are officially the best team in the NFC South. The Falcons have made some significant changes this offseason that highly improves the core of their group. And although there was big changes made on the offensive side as well, they addressed some things on defense they have been needing for a while. Starting with acquiring linebacker Matthew Judon of the Patriots for a 2025 third round pick. And yes, Judon is 32 years old. He's coming off a season where he suffered some injury. But look, this guy has four Pro Bowls and in 2022 when he was healthy, he had 15 and a half sacks in 17 games played. And yes, this guy only has a year left Left on his contract, but considering they gave up just a third round pick, the Falcons have filled the pass rusher position that they have needed for quite some time. Which continues with getting safety Justin Simmons on an $8 million one year contract, who is the best free agent on the market. Simmons made Pro Bowl teams in 2020 and 2023, and he has 30 career interceptions. And putting him next to Jesse Bates, who they acquired from the Bengals two seasons ago, this is going to be one of the best safety duos in the NFL. And yes, it's only a one year deal with the Falcons, but this is them coming out and saying they are ready to win games and do what it takes to make the playoffs. And now they have signed AJ Terrell to an extension to make him the second highest paid cornerback in the NFL. And he is now locked in until 2028 with the Falcons. Terrell signed an $81 million contract and it includes 65.8 million of guaranteed money which is the most ever given to a cornerback on a four-year contract. And although some of AJ Terrell's counterparts on defense are only guaranteed for one year with the Falcons, this could potentially provide some attraction to re-sign back with the Falcons for those one-year players if they do well this year. In my opinion, the Falcons have hands down the best defense in the NFC South. We talked about the big defensive moves the Falcons have made this season, so let's take a look at the offense. First and foremost, signing Kirk Cousins as their official starting quarterback. And this is one of those moves to me that the Falcons are either going to see this payoff exponentially, or it is gonna be a significant waste of money and space on their roster. And that's not me taking shots at Cousins. Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, but the fact is he is 36 years old and he is coming off a season where he suffered a significant injury. But if he can stay healthy and even be a little reminiscent of his 2022 season with the Vikings where he went 13 and four, then this would be a fantastic piece for them. So let's take a look at the offense. Signing Darnell Mooney to a three year, $39 million contract. Mooney spent his first four seasons in the league with the Chicago Bears and he's regressed almost every season. But I think it's evident with the contract he received, the Falcons want him to play a much bigger role in Atlanta than he did on the Bears. He had his best season back in 2021, where he had 81 receptions for 1,055 yards. And if he can show signs of life and get back to a production somewhat similar to that season, he'll be a great option alongside Drake London and Kyle Pitts. And they have made a ton of moves but this one may be the most confusing. After signing Kirk Cousins back in March, most people thought the Falcons were heading into the draft, hoping to fill one of the other holes on the roster. But that's kind of the opposite of what they did. Because with the eighth overall selection, they would select Michael Penix Jr., star quarterback from Washington. And I know since then, they have made other moves that have helped fill in their roster, but it still leaves a bit of a question mark. Because Penix is coming into the league as a 24 year old and he looks ready to go and if Kirk Cousins stays healthy like they hope he does this guy's going to be sitting on the bench for two plus years but part of me does have to wonder if this is the Falcons preparing for Kirk Cousins to potentially have another injury and although Penix Jr. hasn't proven anything this would provide them with a decent backup if Cousins did happen to get injured but let us know in the comments below and hit the like and subscribe button to see more